Ranbir Raj Kapoor, December 14, 1924, June 2, 1988, also known as the greatest showman of Indian cinema, was a noted Indian film actor, producer and director of Hindi cinema. Kapoor is regarded as one of the greatest and most influential filmmakers and actors in the history of Indian cinema. He was the winner of several accolades including three National Film Awards and eleven Filmfare Awards in India. The Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award is named after Raj Kapoor. He was a two-time nominee for the Palme d'Or Grand Prize at the Cannes Film Festival for his films Awara, 1951, and Boot Polish, 1954. His performance in Awara was ranked as one of the top ten greatest performances of all time by Time magazine. His films attracted worldwide audiences, particularly in Asia and Europe. He was called the Clark Gable of the Indian film industry. The government of India honored him with the Padma Bhushan in 1971 for his contributions to the arts. India's highest award in cinema the Dada Saheb Falk Award was bestowed him in 1987 by the government of India. Raj Kapoor was born in Daki Munal War Shanir Kisakawani Bazaar in Peshawar, then India, modern-day Pakhtunkhwa, Pakistan, into a Punjabi Hindu family to Prithviraj Kapoor and Ramsarani Devi Kapoor. He was the eldest of six children in the family. He was the grandson of Duan Bashwar Nath Kapoor and great-grandson of Duan Keshavmal Kapoor, part of the famous Kapoor family. His brothers are actor Shashi Kapoor and the late Shanmi Kapoor. He also had a sister named Ramil Esa. Two other siblings died in infancy. They later on moved from Peshawar into present-day India for residence and for education. Raj Kapoor attended Colonel Brown Cambridge School, Dhiradun in the 1930s and Street Xavier's Collegiate School. At the age of 10, he appeared in films for the first time, in 1935's Inquilab. After acting in several films over the next 12 years, Raj Kapoor's big break came with the lead role in Neo Kamal, 1947 opposite Madhuba in her first role as a leading lady. In 1948, at the age of 24, he established his own studio, R. K. Films, and became the youngest film director of his time making his directorial debut with AG starring himself, Nargis, Kamini Kaushal and Prem Nath. In 1949 he co-starred alongside Dilip Kumar and Nargis in Mehboob Khan's hit film Andes which was his first major success as an actor. He had his first success as producer, director and star of Barsat released later that year. He went on to produce and star in several hit films made under his RK banner including Awara, 1951, Shri 420, 1955, Kauri Kauri, 1956, Jagdraho, 1956, and Jizdish Men Ganga Bayhai, 1960, the last was directed by Radhi Karmakar, his longtime cinematographer and which won Filmfare Award for Best Film. These films established his screen image modeled on Charlie Chaplin's most famous screen persona of The Tramp. Outside of his home productions, his other notable films as a leading actor included Danhon, 1952, Ah, 1953, Anari, 1959, Kelya, 1960, and Dil Hai to Hai. 1963. He also produced the hit social films Boots Polish, 1954, and Abdili Dornahin, 1957. In 1964, he produced, directed, and starred in the romantic musical Sangam alongside Rajendra Kumar and Vijay Ayantimila, which was his first film in color. This was his last major success as a leading actor as his later films like Around the World, 
1966, and Sapnan Kasadagar, 1968, with younger starlets Raj Shri and Hima Malini were box office flops. In 1965 he was a member of the jury at the 4th Moscow International Film Festival. In 1970 he produced, directed and starred in his ambitious film Maranam Joker which took more than six years to complete. His son Rishi Kapoor made his debut in this film playing the younger version of his character. When released in 1970. It was a box office disaster and put Kapoor and his family into a financial crisis. In later years it was acknowledged as a cult classic. In 1971, he launched his eldest son Randur Kapoor in the family drama Kalajua Ur Kal starring himself, his son Randur, his father Prithviraj Kapoor as well as Randur's would-be wife Babita. He launched his second son Rishi Kapoor's career in 1973 when he produced and directed Bobby which was a huge box office success and introduced actress Dimple Kapadia, later a very popular actress, it was the first of a new generation of teen romances. Dimple wore bikinis which was quite unique for Indian films then. In 1975 he acted alongside his son Randur again in Dharam Karam, which Randur also directed. In the latter half of the 1970s and early 1980s he produced and directed films that focused on the female protagonists, Sadium Shivam Sundaram, 1978, with Zena Taman, Prem Rog, 1982 with Padmini Kolapur and Ram Terry Gangamali, 1985, which introduced Mandakini. He acted in fewer films by the late 1970s and early 1980s but played a notable supporting role alongside Rajesh Khanna in Nakri, 1978, and as the titular character alongside Sanjay Khan in Abdullah, 1980. He played a detective in two comedy films directed by Naresh Kumar Dujisus, 1975, and Gompachan Jisus, 1982. In 1979 he was a member of the jury at the 11th Moscow International Film Festival. Raj Kapoor's last major film appearance was in Vakil Babu, 1982, where he appeared with his younger brother Shashi. His last acting role was a cameo appearance in a 1984 released British made for television film titled Kim. He was set to direct Henna starring his son Rishi and Pakistani actress Zawa Bakshira before his death in 1988. His son Randur directed the film and it released in 1991. Death Raj Kapoor suffered from asthma in his later years. He died of complications related to asthma in 1988 at the age of 63. He collapsed at the event where he was to receive the Dadasaheb Falk Award, and was taken to the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, AIMS, for treatment. He was hospitalized for about a month before he succumbed to complications arising from his asthma. 20. At the time of his death. He was working on the movie Hena, an Indo-Pakistan-based love story. The film was later completed by his sons Randur and Rishi Kapoor and was released in 1991. <laughs>